G'day viewers, it's Michael here again for Single Racer and welcome to about half a dozen new subscribers that have joined over the last week or two. Uh, welcome aboard. But I do want to stress that this video won't feature any actual racing other than uh, for use as a demo. But uh, I wanted to elaborate on a video I did a while back uh, which was a bloopers and outtakes video that featured a tweak that you could use but in that video, I touched upon how you could make your own custom wallpapers. Now, you see the wallpaper here. It looks fantastic. But this is the kind of generic wallpaper that you get uh, anywhere on the Internet. But if you tick these two boxes, if you are an Assetto Corsa player and you are a creator, then I want to show you in a bit more detail how you could make your own individual custom uh, thumbnail for the next video that you do. And what I'll be doing here is I'll be giving you uh, an example and then actually use the wall, uh, not wallpaper, but the thumbnail that I'm going to take and use it for this actual video. So let's... Uh, Go ahead with a couple of tips first, and I discovered these by pure accident, so let me show you those now. And so let me show you this thing I stumbled on uh, just as uh, recently as uh, yesterday. The, I enjoy racing online on the online uh, Seto Corsa servers, and I was doing this thing where I was coming back to the pits. Now, I was racing my favorite car, which is the Mazda MX-5 Cup car. And um, it's one of my preferred slower cars when I don't feel like going absolutely all out in a high performance car. But I saw that this person, it's a third person down in the list, um, was much faster than my actual record. So it was an instinctive reaction where I just wanted to, I could, more or less tell that his name, or I assumed his name was Noob, but I was trying to work out if it was two zeros or two capital O's because I enjoy chatting to people trying to uh, suss out how they do their setup. And so instinctively, I wanted to click on the name and then suddenly this thing happened where I went to their car. And I had no idea before that you could do this. So I figured, well, if I didn't know this, maybe there's someone else who doesn't know this either. Now, it could be what's commonly referred to as spectator mode. I've, I've heard this term used so often, but I never knew what it was or how you use it. So maybe that's all it is. See, now I've clicked on that and I've gone back to my car. But one real advantage would be to um, not only... Uh, so I would sit in the yard as an example, and you can see the the uh, the order of the driver list underneath. And I would often wait if I wanted to race against a particular driver. I would often wait to see um, them the delta when they're coming back into the pits, and then hopefully go out with them. But this would be a great way to actually click on their name and say see where they are on the track. But the biggest advantage uh, is if you felt like myself, where I was slower than the person that you were racing against, you could click on their uh, name as, as a spectator and see what gears they're using, what speed they change their gears up to, and how they are approaching the corner that might be different to you. And I thought, what a great way to learn to become a faster driver. So I assume that's called spectator mode, although I have no idea, but I just wanted to share that tip with you because if I didn't know about it, there's a chance someone else didn't. So I just thought I'd show you that tip. So let's move on to the second one now. And so the second tip I have for you comes about because I not only race online, but also race uh, using the website RSR, which is a dedicated online website where you can enter um, specific races against other people. So the tip I have here in this vision is um, I have chat on, which can be uh, 
can have the text, but it's essentially invisible, like you can see through uh, the app. So I have the track map on. And even though I know the track, uh, like Nordschleifer, backwards, um, I find that it has a different use, which is to uh, see more of an overview of where all the cars are. So to me, every person that races online should have Heli Corsa on, and most people do. But Heli Corsa is only good for that initial when they're right beside you uh, view. But if you have a look here at the map, especially on Nordschleifer, it's a great sense of cars that you don't visually see either in your mirror or forward, um, what's in front of you and what's behind you. And it can help a lot with seeing cars that come up to you before they're in helicopter range. Now, an example of that is I race on, on the online servers in the Japanese pack where I specifically like to choose the Mazda MX-5 because of the fact that it's a slow car and uh, is more of a challenge. But it also means that I'm racing against um, the Mazda 787B, which is a, a, a phenomenally fast car. And I had this experience where uh, I was chasing behind a car that I could overtake, and I was so focused on its rear end, trying not to hit it uh, and take it off the track. And then all of a sudden, this flash came in the the uh, Heli Corsa, and the, and the Mazda 787B went flying past me and scared the crap out of me and I actually crashed I had such a, a reaction because I wasn't expecting it so that having the, the track map on even though you know the track is a great way just to have a second overview of the cars that are a bit further away behind you and in front of you and so you can see um, where cars might be approaching at a rapid rate so I hope that helps. And now let's move on to the thumbnail tweak that I was talking about earlier. And so in a previous video that I did that was called uh, bloopers and outtakes, I talked about this tweak for Asado Corsa, but I talked about it from the point of view where you could use different camera angles. And when I show you this now for how to do custom thumbnails, you'll get the idea of what it can do. But I specifically wanted to focus on the custom thumbnail uh, side of it if you're a creator. So let me just go through again what you need to do if you haven't seen that already. So I have my Assetto Corsa in a custom place, but essentially you just want to know where your Assetto Corsa folder is. So it's usually Steam here, Steam Apps, Common, and then Assetto Corsa. And what you need is a file under the CFG file, but there are two in Assetto Corsa. So if you see here, CFG, that's not the one you want. What you want to do is go to your main Assetto Corsa directory and then go down to system and open system up and then you'll have a second CFG folder under system. And it's the first file that you want and you simply can uh, right click and, and open with notepad or wordpad, whatever suits you. And the uh, Two things you want to change is one is under this heading here called AC Apps, and you'll see the um, typed uh, sentence Enable Dev Apps. So normally this is set to zero, and when you change it to one, that just enables then uh, an app to be used, whatever you change. And then you come down further down to the bottom, and you're looking for the a directory near the bottom here called camera and then you'll have allow free camera which is also set to zero by default and you simply change that to one and then go up and go save the file uh, so you change the camera uh, allow free camera to one and then back up to here uh, enable dev apps to one and save that and that will allow the tweak so let's go in game and I'll show you an example of how I'm going to take my own custom wallpaper. 
And so here we are in uh, my previous video. This was uh, the replay that I used for the GT Legends cars at Fuji Speedway, my, my very last video. So I'll use this as an example because uh, it was one of those things where I had already uploaded and was just trying to get the thumbnail done quickly and didn't spend as much time as I usually do. And there was this uh, rather um, unique circumstance where if you're a creator, you know that when you finalize the processing um, of the video when you've uploaded it, you get three general thumbnail choices. And uh, in my case, one of those three looked actually better than the than the thumbnail I chose. So I'll use this as an example to try and do a better one and show you how the tweak works. And so now I've moved the video forward to a spot that's uh, suitable. And I want to give you, uh, as a person that might want to create your own uh, custom thumbnails, say four examples of how you might use it. So what you do is, when you've edited that file that I showed you before, in order to get it to work, because it won't work normally, which is actually a good thing, you press the F7 key, and that enables that tweak. So now what happens is, when I move the arrow keys on just on, the, on your normal keyboard, that allows me to go forward and back. So as an example of the previous wall uh, sorry, I keep saying wallpaper, but I mean thumbnail that I did. I just chose a shot like this where, you know, uh, you can go back forward. Uh, you can use your the right button on your mouse to go down and up. And that's how you go down and up like this. So if I go up to the sky and then look down, I'll be further above that type of thing. So an example is... Um, now I'm just alternating between the right mouse button and the arrow keys on the keyboard. So this this is the kind of shot that I used before, um, where it was just a racing kind of scenario to try and get all the other cars involved. But what happened was when I got the three some thumbnails to pick from in the game, they showed off the sun really beautifully. So what they did was they isolated, it was just a sheer fluke, but they isolated the car like this with the, with the sun. So what you can do is, because you can make your own custom thumbnail, is if you do like myself where I add text to the thumbnail, and I know I'm going to do that, I can go close enough to where I feel that I've got enough space like this. So I'll, I'll say I'm cutting off the shadow here, so I might go further back, and there we go. So that's the thumbnail that I want to take. So I'll do um, print screen, screen grab, and then um, save that pick. Uh, so bear with me, I'll do that now, and I'll just save that so that I can go back to it later. And so here is one of four examples uh, that you can use, uh, so, or s s we'll say the second example. So the car isolated by itself in the shot. You could then go, uh, like I said, as the first one, a race thing where you show all the cars. One that I have used before that I was really happy with, and it was my Arbath um, video at Black Cat Countries. I, I was... Uh, sort of, it, it might even be better if you're turning a corner, but I literally went close up like this and just had showing off the wheel because it had Arbath across the side of the car. And I thought that was a great shot. So uh, there's a shot where you can just use part of the car. Another example was uh, to move forward or back, you would just tilt it up or down by holding the right, right mouse button. So we'll go up to the sky. And then you could do a shot from above, kind of like a helicopter shot. So if we just keep going up, uh, I've picked a bad thing, but like if we we had more cars like that, so something like that, and you could just go up or down as close as you want. So that's a great tweak to make uh, your custom thumbnail. But just one more thing I'll show you, uh, because this I wanted to elaborate on, and this is a great... Uh, way to understand um, 
and really improve your uh, your uh, thumbnail. So let's say you wanted to isolate the car on its own, but wherever the car was, I'll just go up a bit, wherever the car was, you weren't happy with the conditions of the track at the time that you recorded it. So what you can do is you can right click here and you go to photo mode. So the first thing you can do now, I don't use any of these top four, but if you really wanted to experiment with your own custom settings, you could. But just for the record, I'll use the one called Roll and the one called Zenith, uh, which the name escapes me. But anyway, the Roll is good if you are on a curved thing and you're not happy that the car feels straight or you want the car to be straight in your video. So then you would just roll it to where you feel the car in your shot that you're going to take is perfectly level. And when you've done that, there we go, that's perfect. But the real corker is the Zenith uh, is used to put the sun in, it, in a complete cycle wherever you want it. So if I change, see I just... Uh, it's allowing me to change the position of the sun all the way from, uh, you know, 8.30 in the morning to 4.30 or 5 o'clock at night. And you can just, uh, I've often used this, say, to get like, um, it might not do it here. No, it won't. But like a reflection of the sun on the windscreen, which looks really effective. Um, if you've seen my, the shot, the thumbnail that I used for my Bathurst video, although I didn't use this technique because you can't in Project Cars 2, it was just a sheer fluke. But if you have a look here at the headlight, you can see a bit of sun reflection. So you just keep alternating till you get that nice, beautiful reflection there on the on the um, right hand uh, headlight there. Just move it to where you feel you want it. Perfect shot. You cut, then come over here and re remove that so it's not in the shot, and then press um, print screen and there's your screen grab. So I hope that helps. I hope it improves some people's um, thumbnails. And um, I hope you got something out of it. So I'll leave you with it and I'll catch you next time. Okay, see ya.